like labeled break statement, continue statement also provides a labeled form. In case of deeply nested set of loops, we can use a label with the continue statement to specify which of the enclosing loops to continue. Its journal syntax is this. The keyword continue, followed by the target label, followed by semicolon. Let's look at an example program in BlueJay to understand labeled continue statement. This program is like the labeled break statement program. Here we have three nested loops. We have labeled the outer one as first, middle one as second and innermost one as third. If you are not familiar with labels, I recommend you watch the labeled break statement lecture first and then come back to this lecture. There I have discussed labels in detail. Ok, coming back to the program, inside the innermost loop, we have specified this condition that when k becomes equal to 5, program should print a new line and continue with the outermost loop. Let's execute the program. Now we will go over the program to understand how we got this output. Program execution starts with this outer loop. i is initialized to 1, loop condition is true. Program control enters inside the loop. Here we have our second loop, j is initialized to 1, condition of the second loop is true, so program control enters inside it. For the third loop, k is initialized to 1. Condition is true. Program control moves to this line. This one is printed to the console. Program control comes to the if statement. Condition is false, so program control reaches the end of the loop. It goes back to the beginning of the loop to start the next iteration. Similarly, the loop continues its iterations till k becomes 5, printing this 2, 3, 4, 5 to the console. In the fifth iteration, when k is 5, this condition becomes true. Program control moves to this statement which prints a new line to the console. Then program control comes to the labeled continue statement. It transfers the program control to the beginning of the first loop. With the exit of second and third code blocks, variables j and k don't exist anymore i is incremented to 2. As the condition of outer loop is true, its second iteration starts and proceeds in a similar way printing the second line of the output. Program execution goes on for 3 more iterations of the outer loop till i is less than equal to 5 giving the rest of the output. Similar to the labeled break statement, the code block that is the target of labeled continue statement should enclose it. Otherwise, compiler will give an error. Let me write a fourth loop outside these nested loops so that it doesn't enclose this continue statement. So far, the program is compiling with no errors. Now I will specify keyboard as the target of the continue statement. The compiler is complaining about the label keyboard as this code block is not enclosing the continue statement. Let me revert this label back to first. Now the code is again compiling with no errors. I hope now you have a good understanding of continue and labeled continue statement. Time to wrap up this lecture. I will see you in the next lecture. Goodbye.